Hey guys, this is the Lego Kyle again, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the X Wing Fighter. It's ages 8 to 12, set number 6212, and it contains 437 pieces. This is the fighter, and you get six minifigs. Let's start off with Luke Skywalker. <coughs> He has a one-sided torso and a very plain face, because this is an this is an older set compared to others, and he has nice he has nice details on his helmet, nice red, and I don't know if you can tell, but that is a really shiny lightsaber handle. I've been saying that other ones are shiny in other videos, but this one is real is chrome. It is very very shiny. And he has his blue lightsaber. Next will be Han Solo. Han Solo. Um, and he also has a very plain looking face. Nice hair. And one sided torso. And he has some leg printing. And he has a belt printed on there. It's pretty cool. Next we have Princess Leia. Again one-sided torso plain face and the cool hair uh, next we have Chewbacca this is probably the I'd say coolest headpiece but worst minifigure cause basically his headpiece is all the detail all the texture and the only really good thing about this minifigure because basically there is without the headpiece just brown body parts with no texture no printing at all it's just this this is everything so I don't know I like the headpiece but that's kinda of disappointing that that's the only detail R2-D2, there is something different about him. The printing is different than the newer ones. And the headpiece right here, normally it goes all the way down, but this one is all the way at the top. So the pieces are the same, except a different printing on the pieces. And lastly, this is a wedge. He has a very plain face. He has a normal Lego face that a lot of the older figures, fig, that the older minifigs have. Just the smiley face with the two dots for eyes. Also, same printing as Luke's torso, one-sided, and also very detailed helmet. Looks pretty good. Anyways, let's get on with the X-wing. This is very detailed, as you can see, it looks very nice. They have a lot of these uh, pieces all over with very nice details. Um, you get four engines, they look really, really good. And these, these two, are not stickers, that's, that's pretty cool. You do get pieces like right here that you can switch out if you want these as extra you can uh, I have them right here you can switch these out for these or vice versa and if you use these you get all these extra pieces or if you use these you get this cool printed piece and those are the rest of the extra pieces that you get in this set you get two of these this one's flipped up. But anyways, let's get on with the features of this set. Main feature, primary feature on this set, hold on, is right here. Basically, you turn this knob until it catches, and these rubber bands will expand. Sorry, that's my phone. But it will open the wings to take form of the X-Wing fighter. So let's just do that real quick. As you can see, becomes the X-Wing, which is 
I think, the most well-known vehicle for Star Wars. Very nice. Basically, to close it, you just do the opposite. What, Dad? Okay, and then another feature is this right here. This is the landing gear, and you can fold it in. Basically, just go like that, and then you can take it back out. And this cockpit is printed, and you can open it up. There's a printed piece in there with a picture of the Death Star before he explodes it when he's going down. And it's very detailed in here. You got the handle right there. And then you can just close this. And the last feature is right here. Just take Luke's lightsaber and you can open this. Oops. <laughs> Put it inside and close it. That's where you keep his lightsaber. So, this is pretty much the whole review of the X Wing Fighter. Uh, this is Lego Cow. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you.